All right, welcome to Yearth Biome Tours. Today we're going to be looking at the monastery slash cathedral. And I think at this point I'm the only one who calls it the monastery, so you should probably just call it the cathedral. I guess I'm just cool like that. So the way it's structured is it has four entrances that are each equidistant from the way you get to the stone, basically. Um, all of them are the same. This lower part is a hallway that goes all the way around. And then this part that you can see that is raised up in the center here, that's a different chamber in the middle, which this hallway goes around. The entrance to that chamber, the entrances are lined up to these uh, main entrances, so you just go straight. That's that room. This hallway, as I said, goes around like that. So you could do some interesting maneuvers. But the this is the main room, the main chamber. I don't know if this is if this is bright enough. Here, let me just it might be too dark for the video. So fix that real quick. So obviously keep in mind that in case you forget I have night vision on this, not what it looks like. So this is the main room. The stone used to be right here, but it's not anymore. So there's not actually anything of interest in here right now. You can climb up these vines. You could climb up, um, if I can do it. You can just climb up and crouch or something, and the hunter's probably not going to see you right there. You can do that anywhere. Watch out for these, um, are they vexes? I forgot what those are called, but they'll attack you. So if you come right there so you can see it better that's where the entrance to the catacombs is and that's where the stone will be so the catacombs are structured like the building is where there's a circle and then there's kind of intersecting hallways that go through the middle other than a cross pattern so you can see how there's this circle shape and remember it's going to be darker down here because i have the night vision so there's this overall circle shape more or less that you can follow. There's no loot in any of this, any of these spots. Yeah, so there's the circle shape. Once it goes to cobblestone, and this is the entrance. So if you just go straight from the entrance, then this tunnel leads to the sewer, which is a useful connection to have. So you can do that, but you'll probably want to be going for the stone unless it's been banned. So what you want to do is just go until you find these hallways that cut through like that, that go straight. There's the stone right there, and you can see this is where they intersect. See, it's more or less straight through, and then here's the other one, and then they intersect here. That's where the stone is, right next to the intersection. So this would be an excellent place to go if you're trying to lose the seeker. Um, and you can get to the sewer. There's nothing of actual interest in here anymore. This hallway just goes around in a circle, like the catacombs. And also, if you come to the roof here, which you have to get from, from the deplorable abomination, go down the leg, or you could enderpearl up here. This chest has a crossbow, multi-shot, it's the shotgun, and some arrows. So that's at the top. Um, and this is a really good ender pearl spot. You could ender pearl to Castle Jimmy, to on top of really any of those buildings. You could get to one of the trees maybe. You could get to the Wild West Stone. Lots of options here. So that's worth. This is a good spot to go. And that'll do it for the monastery slash cathedral. 